Hey guys, Jeremy Hood here. Didn't want to bore you guys, but uh, thought I'd throw together a video. This one's much less complicated to figure out. However, uh, it still wasn't perfectly clear on the internet. I'm getting a code 340 on my mother-in-law's 99 Toyota Camry. Same old car, four-cylinder, 2.2 liter engine, CE, Toyota Camry CE. And this is the new part. And already I can't find the old part, so looking around online, Here's your four-cylinder engine and the camshaft position sensor is down in here. It's that thing where my thumb's pointing. I know you can hardly see that at all. I apologize for that. There, that's it. That's the plug right there. And that's the camshaft position sensor right there. I mentioned this was a code 340, P340. Uh, and the symptoms were the idle kept getting lower and lower. And it would die sometimes. And then eventually it just died on the side of the road and wouldn't restart. It just kept cranking and cranking. So this camshaft sensor sits like this in the car and the bolt to take it out is right here and it's this side that you want to get the wrench on and loosen it and it's way down in there like I pointed out just a second ago and to get this plug out you can see the release is on what's toward the back of the car and it's and it's at an angle like this too it's sitting at an angle like this so up here right above it there's a push so you push it this way and then you can pop it out all right this is not going to be a very good shot I apologize but I'm trying to show you the bolt that you need to take loose you see where my fingers wiggling there there are kind of two bolts next to each other this one's farther back and lower and then there's this goldish one probably brass or something but anyway that's that's the one you want to take loose for the camshaft sensor and just so you have a frame of reference there's the car there's the engine block four cylinder and it's down way down there so what I've done with my arm to get down there is gone behind these air conditioning pipes that hole right there didn't seem to work very well because my arm kit kept hitting that stuff and I didn't want to take it off so I got my arm way down like this wedged in there to reach back like this that's an 11 millimeter uh, bolt and then my other arm went in right here next to this belt and the belt was kind of in the way oh, probably won't be able to see my other hand there but I was able to get that bolt loose so now I'm about to pull it out alright here's the side of the Camry's engine. So you have a frame of reference for banger. Uh, this thing was attached right there. Okay, I pulled this little clip in the middle that direction, push it that way, and this slides up. And then I hooked that over this air conditioning thing. And I pop this one loose too, and similarly, but this one you push it down, push it down, and then that slid out. So I can kind of move this around a little bit. I have no idea what that is. And that, there's the cam position sensor. That thing, that thing right there. You can see it's loose, it's on the way out. And then the nut for that. I showed in the other video, uh, but now what I'm finding seems to be working is to get down there once this thing's out of the way, put my right hand down like this and just reach backwards and now I'm grabbing that nut and it's loose already so I'm just having to kind of play with it to get it to come out all the way. So I ended up with room for only one hand down there so this worked pretty well. This is a, I don't know, screwdriver type thing. And it has a hex on this end and a square on this end. So I put a hex to square adapter on the hex side, 
which you wouldn't think. But then my square uh, socket fit in there, and I was able to get in with my right hand. And here's the stupid cam, <laughs> cam whatever, cam position sensor. So this is kind of threaded into the camshaft sensor, which is nice. I was worried this bolt was going to fall loose, but it's kind of threaded in there a little bit. So it didn't fall out. I didn't lose it. So that was good. I probably will putting it in though. We'll find out. All right. I don't see any threads in there. But anyway, it is a snug fit. Now for the new one. All right. The new one's going in like this. It's going to go down like this. In and the bolt's going to go first. And this is just going to flop around like this. <clears throat> and then this is going to go up snug against the engine before I snug that bolt and it looks like this thing will probably help hold it in place as well. So my old camshaft sensor did not have one of those pins right here. This one does, but there's no spot on the engine block to allow that pin to go in. So what I did was I just took my vise and smashed it in there. So move it back like this. In case I'm wrong, I can always move it back. So it looks like the only thing that holds this in place is this bolt right here. And it just kind of, you just put it in place and then snug up this bolt. And I guess that's it. This doesn't even have any threads to grab anything. Doesn't seem like a very good design, but that's how it seems to be. And that's how the old one was working. All right, the new camshaft position sensor is in whatever the heck that is so now to hook it all back up again let's see now get the plug let's get this in focus sorry if y'all can't see this very well that's the plug for the camshaft position sensor and it goes right there I'm so picky I need to hear the click otherwise I'm not convinced it's on all the way I don't know what this is but I had to move it out of the way so it got unplugged so now it's getting plugged back in again yeah, click good and I'm not sure what the grommets for I guess they're expecting it to get wet and don't want it to and this was the big lifesaver here was getting this silly thing out of the way let's put it back on there we go and the second spot it goes is right there right there and I think I think that's it I'm gonna have a look over and make sure I haven't missed something and try and fire it up